Within our process project, one of the other files that we have access to is the Web Services Descriptive Language document or the WSDL document. So I'm going to go over here to the navigational view here. I'm going to open up this WSDL file. So I'm just going to double click on it and open it up. Again, the WSDL definition is going to be the descriptor of the information about the process model as a service. So what opens up here is the Web Services Descriptive Language document. And again, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see kind of the breakdown of what the major elements happen to be within this definition. So we have an area called the Types definition. The Types definition is basically going to identify all of our element pieces and which element pieces we're, we're going to be working with in this particular process model. So we've got a couple of different elements in here. One of them is simply called Hello World Process Request. Now, Hello World Process Request is going to be our input message. It has one element, as we can see, simply called input, and it has a type of string. So this is going to be our input message. And then we have one other element called Hello World Process Response, which obviously is going to be our output message. Now, where this came from is when we developed this project and we built it using the wizard, we asked to create a synchronous type of a BPEL model. So automatically we had an input, automatically we had an output, so subsequently, when the WSDL definition was created, we have two uh, different uh, element types that are created, one to represent the input message, one to represent the output message. So we have a types definition, and we also have a message definition. So let me drop down and look at the message information. So again, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can kind of see the breakdown. We have two different messages that we have defined here. Let's go to the first message here. So as I scroll down here, I see I have a message simply called Hello World Request Message. And this particular message is going to be, as an element now, is going to be Hello World Process Request. So this is simply going to be my input message. We have another message called Hello World Response Message. And again, the element here that's going to be contained in this one is Hello World Process Response. So I have two messages here. One is going to be the input message, and one is going to be the output message. So remember when we were talking about the WSDL files, we were essentially saying that the WSDL is the descriptor of the service itself. So these two particular pieces are the message points, uh, the input message and the output message for our synchronous process. We also have something called a port type. So as we scroll down, the port type essentially is going to be the interface name, and it's going to define the various operations that can actually be called. So this port type is simply the name of our project, Hello World. There's one operation here, generically called simply process. And that process operation here, again, you can think of an operation as a method if you're an object-oriented programmer, has an input message and it has an output message. So the operation process is the, uh, the entry point, basically, for our particular service. Again, since it's synchronous, it has an input message and has an output message. The input message is Hello World Request Message. The output message is Hello World Response Message. And the last thing that we have is a partner link. So at the bottom here we have our partner definition. So again, with the WSDL we identify exactly what type of partner connection we're going to have. So we have one link here to the outside world, one partner connection simply for the client. And uh, that connection, that partner link has a concept called a role that we'll be talking about a little bit later on. So the role simply identifies uh, if it's a synchronous process or an asynchronous process uh, what particular role we're going to be playing. So in every BPEL process, in every BPEL project, we're going to have a WSDL file. You can come in, you can manipulate, you can modify the WSDL file directly. Uh, of course, that's going to affect uh, the, uh, the way the process model is going to be viewed. But this is what we're going to export out. This is what's going to make the process model viewable as a service component to all other types of applications that exist out there.